essay writing is a hard nut to crack. You have to tell your story that should be well written and in limited words. When you are applying for scholarships to study abroad, almost all those scholarships will ask you for some essay samples. They will have some questions and then you have to fill them out because it's a huge competition. All the applicants will have grades, they will have some sort of internships and some references and so on. But what will make you stand out is how your essay has been written. So here I'll share with you some tips and some ways to write a better essay for your application and that can shoot up your chances of winning. So let's get started. Let me start by telling you some do's and then some don'ts and then in the end we'll give you a little bit of tips. Before I start giving you tips, I should tell you that there are two to three types of essays. One is called personal statement. So that is basically your story and I do have a video on that which will explain you what that particular essay should have. And then there is another type of essay that's more of your research or your study oriented. So this type of essay will focus more on your studies that you want to do and your research that you want to pursue. So one is like more personal touch, the other has more of the research and technical side. Applications will have some sort of essays revolving around these areas. I have said it in one of the previous videos and I'll say it again. Your essay is becoming your face for the decision makers. So what you have to do is put the best version of yourself. So first thing is you need to start writing some bullet points. These bullet points will have your milestones, any achievements that you have done over the time. Maybe you presented an, at a conference, maybe you hosted an event or anything you have done in during your undergrad or higher school. Once you have written down your milestones, start aligning with the timeline. So what you have to do is, for example, if you hosted an event or if you won a poster competition, have the year attached to these points. And then for each point, if it's not a year, you can also write like in the second year of my undergrad or in 2018, I did this, this, this. Putting a timeline will make your essay more specific. The other point is once you're mentioning the years and your achievements, start mentioning the names of the people who you were inspired by or your mentors. There could be a professor in your university who made you understand some bits and pieces of your future endeavors. So mention the person and then mention the impact that the person had on your decision making. All right, then comes the bigger chunk, which is how you actually came up with this field. So whatever field you're choosing, and I'll give you an example, let's say environmental sciences. So what you have to write is, why did you start thinking about working and studying in environmental science? How does this field link to your previous experiences? Maybe as a high school student, you got worried about the environment, looking at a polluted ocean and so on and so forth. So add those reasoning into your main essay. Okay, so you have mentioned the reason that links to your current study, right? Now you have to also emphasize why you want to do the current study or why you have to go to this particular university or why you want to apply for this particular program and scholarship in order to step up. So you need to justify, here is the reasoning part. And then after you have talked about the current status, you also have to start mentioning the future endeavors. Link the opportunity of your scholarship with what you will be achieving in the future. So have a foresight, make a plan. Let's say in the next five years, I see myself doing dot, dot, dot. One of the key points is if you mention a solution to an existing problem, in case of environmental sciences, you can highlight something around climate change and you can provide one of the solutions. For example, I would like to work in recycling waste to produce some plastic recycled product and I think this will save this much percent of waste and all that. So this is where your research skills will be showcased and that will come in. It shows your passion, it shows that you have worked on it, and it also shows that you do have an idea and you do see yourself working in this particular profession. Your first draft is always for the trash. Your essay skeleton that started from bullet points and entering the names and years and then the link from previous experience, current, and then the future, this flow will eventually give you a draft don't expect this draft to be one of the best. It will not. What you have to do is then reread it and then make a flow in it that it tells a story as if you are sharing this, sharing your life story with a friend. Once you've done that, 
do a grammar check. Grammar check and spell check is so important. It puts off because all these decision makers, those who are reading your essay, they don't have the whole time to read line by line. So you have to give your best. And that's where grammar and spell check comes in. Once you've done that, proofreading. Have a professor or a friend read it. They might point out things that you have missed out totally. There could be sometimes some milestones that you that have skipped your mind and they would be very helpful to tell you those. Maybe you need to add them, maybe you don't. And then they will also help you see the flow in the essay. Keep working on it and don't rely on one night to finish the essay. Now comes the don'ts. I have reviewed a lot of scholarship essays. So here is what you do not have to do. First thing, do not lie. You don't have to lie. We all are individuals. We all have some strength, some strong point of our story. So focus on that instead of trying to make it the best ideal story of yourself. Then I have also seen people focusing on difficult words. You do not have to do that. It should be good grammar and good words, but it shouldn't be fancy words. Third thing, do not have dramatic openings. Mm. Some scholarships like the Commonwealth will have four different questions and every question is going to focus on some different aspect. That's where you have to realize that you do not have to repeat what you're saying. So the answers to all four questions should be different. You do not copy paste the answer of one to the other, not even like a single sentence. You can think of rephrasing it, but it should mention a different point than the previous question. You need to understand which question is technical and study oriented and which question is asking for your personal expression. These were the do's and don'ts briefly. Now let's talk about some of the tips that will enhance the SF even further. First one is try to show some leadership skills. Technical skills are important, but then people also want to see the soft skills. So leadership skills could be when you have organized an event when maybe you have run some sort of a program or you were mentoring a junior, stuff like that. Point two, if you have any teamwork experience, usually in universities, there are lots and lots of projects that you do as a team. Briefly in a sentence or two, if you talk about teamwork, that will be really classy. And the third tip is to show your goals and your foresight. Mostly essays lack that. They need to see how you have thought through. Last but not the least, again, in a sentence or two, mention how this scholarship will add value to your overall career because they are giving you a lot of money and they need to see how you are going to make this opportunity significant in your life all right these were some of the ways that can help to improve your essay if you have any questions please comment below i'll try to answer as many as i can until my next video bye bye